has the Baumia campaign received this? Just e extreme backlash straight away coming from Alan Kojo Chamante himself. Roland, good morning. Mo 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 morning, Kofi. And good morning to your good um, viewers and um, also to Honorable Sam George. It's been a while. And, yeah. um, and so look. Um, you see, personally, I think this raving and ranting by the uh, leader of the movement for change, uh, Alan Kojo Martin, is a needless distraction that the MPP we don't need. You call what he's saying concerns he's raising, raving and ranting. Let That's complete disrespect to him. No, it's not. It's not. Clearly, what you played is it's just it's just a manifestation of somebody who is ranting and raving about an obvious endorsement, an endorsement that goes to the core of the actual issues. And what are the issues? Okay, what President Kufour said is not something that is new. He has said that before, and both of you have agreed that February um, 7, 2024, um, when Dr. Mahmoud Baumia was outlining his vision for this country after being elected by the new Patriotic Party's delegates as the leader and flag bearer of the MPP, Former President John Ajikun Kufo, the same statement he made some few days ago is the same thing that he made th th that same time. Okay, the excuse is while well, he was addressing party faithful. But that platform, the party was also addressing the nation. So for me, if Alan had anything to say, he should have said it then. But that's not the point. The point is that President Kufo has assessed all the candidates and has come to the bold conclusion that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia stands tall among these individuals. That does not mean that none of them have played any role in our political, I mean, development or our national development. No, they have all fantastically played their roles. But he's saying, looking at the situation in which Ghana find themselves and looking at how the which world... Which situation? Oh, first of all, let me, let me land on that. Looking at how the world is moving, we missed out on the Industrial Revolution as Africans, because at the time when the rest of the world were industrializing, we were being colonized, we were, you know, taken from our continent as slaves. Now we are in the fourth revolution, industrial revolution, which is led by technology. And if there's an individual who can lead this fight, there is His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And that's the point he was making. And then he went on to say that when you look at the economic situation in which we find ourselves, if there's any individual who has the world with them to be able to more or less res rescue us and bring us back to a trajectory of good economic fortunes, then the experience of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is really needed. He mentioned the fact that the economy now is not, of course, what we all expect it to be. Clearly, there's a reason for that. And that reason is being exposed and was even doubled down by the former president, John Dramani Mahama, when he went to Cambridge, Harvard University, to speak to the African Business Devo uh, Development School, African students, um, uh, business students, where he made it clear that according to the Economic Committee of Africa, there's an indication that the pandemic indeed affected global economy, including that of Ghana. So when you look at when we first assume office, our economic performances, we were doing better to the extent that it was a global acclaim. Our uh, gross domestic product, GDP, was one of the fastest in the world. We promised the good people of Ghana that there were some nuisance taxes that we will abolish or we remove, and indeed we did that. When you look at our economic indicators within the four years that we were in office, first four years, we did far better than any government in the Fourth Republic. Did you didn't listen to Alan Kojo Chamanti? I'm making a point. Clearly, clearly indicting the competence of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. The competence of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia politically, and as far as being a vice president, it's clear for everybody to see. That is why I am giving you the antecedent, the history. Something happened to this economy, and that is why we find ourselves where we are. But we move past that. The, the, the fact of the matter is that he has a demonstrable record. That indicates that when it comes to the management of the economy, at least look at the first four years of MPP without any global pandemic. In any case, you talk about Dr. Mahmoud Baumia vis-a-vis the economic performance now. When did uh, Alan Chamartin leave the MPP or the government? I, I don't understand. Years, he was the chairman of the economic committee of cabinet. Which one is that? Alan Chamartin. He, he was what? The chairman. Well, which one is that? Of he, was, he was the cabinet. chairman of what? He was the chairman let, let me write of the economic down. committee. 
of Nanadu at Ekufado's cabinet. So that means that when they go, all the economic committees or the, the EMTs, okay, they sit together, the ministers sit together. So wait, so, so Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia is chair of the economic management team. team. And then as a subcommittee, we have an economic... It's not a subcommittee. When you come to cabinet, okay, so, when the So the cabinet committee on what? Economy. It was being chaired by Alan Kojo Chermatin. So, and, and Alan was a member of the... He was the also a member of the economic money. So and when, Dr. Mambo was chairing it. Yes. But when it, you come to cabinet, that's where... So what are you saying? That both of them or are good no, no, or are not good? Let me explain to you. So allow me to explain. So we have the economic manage, ma management team. That more or less bring together all the economic ideas together. Then do come to parliament, um, cabinet, okay? And then finally cabinet will decide on it. And that committee, economic committee in cabinet, that supervises all the uh, uh, economic ideas of the administration. The chairman of that committee is Alan Kodoche Martin. So if there are any fallout of in the economy, you cannot, you cannot escapate Alan Chemartin from what we are going through now. But that's beside the point. That's why I said uh, So that. you are saying that the concerns that have been raised worldwide, as well as in country, and even by key stakeholders within the voter population, that the economy has tanked or dipped. We should blame both Dr. Mahmoud Baumia no, and Alan Chemartin. It was Chemati. in response to what Solomon said, okay, that we should put all the blame on Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has said he take collective responsibility for what has happened. And that uh, collective responsibility, I am yet to hear from the Alan team or Alan himself admitting same, but he has not done that. Okay. But no, to conclude on this matter, let, let me repeat once again that we in the MPP, we are focused on our elections. We believe that our policies and our programs it's 17 are 17 days to that election. No? Yes, no worry. We believe strongly that our policies and our program will find favor with the good people of this country. And indeed, they will vote for us. So for me, what he's doing clearly is, is, is a revelation of his bitterness as a result wait, wait, of his, no, no, own, no, no. his inability to lead the MPP because he was not able to mobilize the party and governize the party. Alan is bitter, rally, eh? Of course, clearly. The worst president we've ever had, okay, in the history of our fourth republic, is John Jomani Mahama. Because for the first time in the history of the Fourth Republic, Ghanaians were plunged into total darkness for four solid good years. And finally, yeah, when all was said and done, he bedeviled us with uh, um, uh, take or pay excess uh, uh, capacity charges, which the government would have to cough up millions of dollars to be paying for. Number one. Number two. We've had the worst there's president. A, there's a new bridge power plant. Or, 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 or on what Let terms me make is it? my point. Is it take or pay? Respectfully, when you were uh, honourable was talking, oh. you kept quiet. Respectfully. No, that, that cannot be true. Okay. So again, the worst president we've had in the history of no, our. No, I'm asking you. The, the, if, the, there's this even just a, a bridge power plant that was inaugurated. Well, and this is not fair. Can you just allow me to make my was point? Was he also take or pay? Okay. At the end of the day, we had a president who, when the youth of this country were asking him skilled youth of this country were asking for jobs he told them he he's not a magician to provide them with jobs okay the, the former once upon a time that. once the, upon the former president can, never said can i finish making my point respectfully please you once will not, upon you, you will a time not make untruthful statements it's not untrue it's true the did former he, president did appear before yes an, i know an that interactive fact. program did he make the GTV? point that he's not a magician to on, provide on, them with on, jobs on, if they don't have the skills did on, he say that on gtv no, and, did he said, say, and said and said to to create jobs I hope and then to, to earn money <laughs> is not is not through any form of magic. You Some have to go in a way. here on behalf of the NDC. No, no, no. I, so I, do, I don't want to interject you no. because I don't want no, to you, interject you. No, I'm saying that. Let me no, finish making my point. Interject. Just no. like when he was making his point. No, no, no. So, insulting so, so, the so, vice president or not, I kept quiet and wrote no, them down. No, no, you see, okay. when you do that, I did not insult him. No, no, please. Whatever, no. whatever please, was Let's 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 have some peace and quiet here. Okay, allow me to make my point. Okay, so so I I reserve the right. If you make a statement, and I the, hope I'll get and my the time statement back. is not on the path of the straight and narrow to make those interjections. Uh -huh. And so I make those interjections. And it's not the first time on this very subject about magician and not so being a magician that are making mm. this. And I've, I've reiterated that. that. That is not what the former president said. I listen to him. The fact, that you, the, him. the fact that you have some George here doesn't mean that. I but cannot no, play my role adequately. Your, he didn't say he's not a magician. He didn't say that. That is what, what I'm say? saying. Please go ahead. What did he say? I've, 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 I've made my interjection. Please go ahead. Teachers worked in this country for more than two years and they were paid for only three months. In this country. 
Okay, look. Sam George has the right to describe the vice president in whichever way he wants to. But the fact of the matter is that when we want the most effective vice president in the history of our fourth republic, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia stands tall. He was talking about the things that he has said and he couldn't do. Oh, come on, really? Let me also tell you the things that he said that he has done. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia said that Ghana card could be used to travel from abroad into Ghana. Is it true or not? Because I work with the Ghana consulate and I have individuals who will travel to Ghana Maybe they, they, they have their passport expired or they've lost their passport. By virtue of the fact that they are holding Ghana card, they're able to travel to Ghana from the United States of America. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia once said that through mobile money interoperability, every adult Ghanaian will be able to have a bank account. The NDC said he was lying. Today we have a wallet, at least, more or less serving as a bank account for the good people of this country. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia said that government will introduce mobile money into probability between bank accounts and Momo accounts. Is it true or not? He said a lot of things, and as we speak, he has said, paragraph 63, about mobile money interoperability. that you'll be able to move your money from your mobile phone to your bank account, I mean mobile money wallet, to your bank that account. That policy direction had been there before the, the, the current vice president the came in. Mobile money, we are not talking about Momo. We are talking about mobile money interoperability, where you can be able to transfer money from your bank to um, your... I, I am saying emphatically that there was a policy direction for which even there was a contract in place. What the vice president did say was that the contract was bloated. That's what he did say. Did he champion it or not? I don't understand you because did I, he I, champion? I, did he champion you every can, you constituency? Can, you can say that he championed, Wait, but I'm saying that. But that's not exactly what I'm referring to. Did he champion that every constituency should have an ambulance or not? Did he champion that every district should have a set of earth moving machines to be able to help them with their roads? These are the things that he has done because he was a vice president and he was given the opportunity to do that. What I do know for a fact. That among these uh, individuals who are contesting to become the president of the republic and Ghanaians should have the opportunity to vote for them December 7th, none of them is fantastically corrupt than former President John Germani Mahama. This is somebody who the world, okay, three courts of competent jurisdictions, France, UK, and the US, have concluded that indeed his government official won. This is somebody who his president, his boss, constituted a committee to investigate him for perceived corruption in the purchase of an umbrella. So for me, clearly, if you want a character, an individual, and just like uh, Honorable Bagbin said, when you talk of leadership skills and qualities and character, President John Germani Mahama doesn't have it. And going into these elections, Ghanaians are going to look into an individual who has a character, who has a track record of not being corrupt. And Ghanaians will come to the conclusion that indeed, John Germani Mahama is not somebody we should be. Are you talking about lies and dishonesty? There's somebody who said that free SHS is a desperate attempt by a, a, a politician to hoodwink us. Then later he comes back and says, I introduced free SHS. What is more dishonest than that? Somebody who once upon a time said that he doesn't have money to even build stadiums. They're on the same platform or campaign platform. He goes to another region and says, I'll get the money and build stadiums for you. So clearly for me, Ghanaians do have a choice. As against a vice president, even though he's not a president, has performed creditably against a president who, when he had the opportunity, performed abysmally, and Ghanaians booted them out one and twice they booted them out again once again. And they will do so again in, in, in December 7th, 2024. His own cousin and, uh, is you, Okay, you, you, you want to go before he does. Of course. If he no, goes no, and no, say no, something, no, after no, you no, come no, back no, again. No. Let me give you first three of all, minutes. First of all, three it is clear, it is clear for many thoughts that these bills, Okay, was in the interest of this country. Of course, and indeed, as, 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 as Ghanaians, our cultural values frowns upon these things. So we supported the parliamentarians who did that. But today... Why hasn't the president... Wait, wait, wait. Why you but today, Sam George has made it clearly that it's a personal thing to him to go after the Ekufado's government, to bastardize the Ekufado's government. Okay? Because the things that he has said, to the extent that he says that it is my bill. It is not your bill, Sam George. That's a very unfortunate statement you made. You are there on behalf of the good people of this country and the good people of uh, no, uh, Ningo Pram Pram. First of all, President Kufadu has made it clear that he doesn't support the activities of the LGBT. He's not going to support or endorse, uh, or, uh, or endorse the, the gay marriage and all of that. The vice president, the leader of the MPP, has also said same. Okay, now we have an issue in court. 
which is legitimate. You are an honorable member of parliament. Somebody has sent an issue to the Supreme Court and a determination will be made. You talk about the fact that, oh, he wants to, President Kufad wants to leave before. No, the decision will be made or judgment will be made December 18th. At that time, President Kufuado will still be the president of the Republic of Ghana. So what are you talking about? Clearly, the point is that some judge is using this bill to come after the government, to just make the government unpopular, just like they've been using you all other means. You to sign the bill. Just, just, sign just it. like they've been you using really all other means. It. The issue is in court. The what issue is, is still in court. It doesn't court. matter. The I, issue I, is in court. Is, is it not in court? No, is it not in court? Is Levy not in court? No, is it not in court? Is Levy not in court? Is Levy not in court? Ask him, is Levy not in court? And the president not sign You haven't. Please allow him. Please allow him. The issue is in court. A determination will be made by December 18th. At that time, the president will still be the president of the republic, mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity mm -hmm. yes, to yes, ascend yes. to the bill to make it a law. Mm -hmm. Then let me say that you sat here, and I'm extremely, uh, I have extremely disassociated myself. No, no, it's not that. Other... I'm talking about the Ghana card, which can be used to travel. You sat here to allow some judge, an honourable member of parliament, to lie to the good people of this country, and you said nothing about what it. What There's you... nowhere. That uh, Vice President Mahmoud Bamiya said you can use your Ghana card to travel from Ghana. Oh, I, read, I read the story. Wait, okay. When did he say did that? I, like, I read the story when from did he say that? that? Okay. I, I, uh, so, no. so, so categorically, oh. the first time the announcement was made, when, when did was he say that, that you can use Ghana's card the, to travel? The announcement that was made uh -huh. said that you can use the Ghana card to travel, but then I even made an interjection and said it was later amended to mean that you can use it to travel and then you allow him. from outside the country in country. So that's did I lie about what Bamiya said? So, 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 let's all be let's all be categorical about that. Classmate. However, no, 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 please, 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 no, don't, Sam, don't. He's trying to put me in the same but class I, as Bamiya. But I hold the personally, I hold the position that the, the government you? policy I'm is you can you can use the Ghana card to travel when you are outside Ghana coming into Ghana, just in case you don't have your traveling documentation. So, so that is the position I hold personally. LGBTQ. Do you think? Do you think? Please, gentlemen. It's my turn. No, it's my turn. No, 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 Bamiya. You cannot. You cannot deliberately. No, no. They want to destroy the program. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. I allowed you to speak. I let me. It's my turn. Why? All right. Now, the OSPO. He said, he, he said, was so corrupt that he would say, Cecil, Cecil Benson, good morning. I'm taking uh, notice of, he said, the, uh, the president uh -huh. has appointed a new minister it's 17 OSPO. days to election. I don't, I'm not too sure about that. And then also, um, Hesse Freeman, thank you for your message as well. For the others as well, I can see Ebenezer, um, who also has sent us, uh, Hesse Freeman and Junior Corby, and says, uh, uh, Xilis Duane, watching us from the, UK and Nelson Akotia. That's like he's when he's coming back to Ghana. I shouldn't try to use his All right. card. <laughs> Give All right. So let me also tell you about how you can have uh, a good beachy tiding and sandy joy this Christmas. You can do that by booking two nights and getting the third night free with all meals inclusive, starting from 6,000 Ghana cities for a couple. Package offered gets include free access to all in-house facilities including swimming pools and that's uh, when you visit the facilities for maha beach resort gym available cinema popcorn uh, maha. snooker games yes it's maha fantastic place fantastic it will place. be a place to go and celebrate the victory of john muhammad no 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 allah will celebrate please move up so they also have snooker games and entertainment and then you can also enjoy free airport pickups from Takradi on weekends when you arrive. They have fun activities, including tour of their beautiful facility with a golf cart, splash playground for kids, bouncy castles, trampolines, among many others. They also take you on a joy ride to the Maha village. You also get to visit the beautiful and interesting historical town of Inzule Zoo, and then also Fort Apollonia, Ankasa uh, Forest, and then that Nkrumah Memorial House at Nkrofo. Make sure that by December 1st, you have booked and paid, or you're on the, on the way of paying. And they're talking about also enjoying 10% discount, just in case you want to make these bookings. Call for reservations now. They, they have a line. So 030-3977773. They also have 050 you can also email the sm at maharesort.com. Social media always available for you. So read them on their website, mahabeachresort.com as well. Get the latest. We have cash out. It goes with a shock code, star 439 hash. 
Gentlemen, I wish no, no, you, he's, he's I wish you all the best. Like I've done on the bill. I, I, oh, yeah, I, I, I wish all the best for the campaign. 